Tomorrow is decision day for Kamala Harris. The vice president is expected to name her running mate before she begins a brainstorming tour and barnstorming tour of battleground states on Tuesday. This as her rival, former President Donald Trump, keeps up his attacks on the campaign trail and waffles on future debates. NBC News' Tracy Wilkins is in Washington, D.C. for the latest. Who will stand alongside likely Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris? The answer is expected soon. Vice President Harris met with three of the top contenders yesterday. A source close to discussions tell NBC News there are more meetings today and an announcement coming tomorrow. North Carolina Governor Rory Cooper took himself out of the running, saying Harris has strong choices. She knows what being a vice president is all about. So I think she's got the best perspective of all. The war in Gaza, electability in battleground states, labor and the economy are some of the issues expected to influence the VP pick. People close to Harris tell NBC she's also focused on a governing partner who has good chemistry with her. Republicans are also bracing for the announcement as former President Donald Trump sharpened his personal attacks over the weekend. Four months ago, she was considered grossly incompetent by the fake news. Now they're saying, oh, isn't she wonderful? Isn't she wonderful? Trump criticized Harris on Truth Social today, posting Trump cash versus Kamala crash, referring to the stock market turmoil rippling from overseas after a disappointing U.S. job growth report on Friday. Trump also says he's out of the ABC debate originally scheduled with President Joe Biden, instead calling for a new debate on Fox News. The Harris campaign continues to challenge Trump's waffling and personal attacks. Harris will hit the road after tomorrow's VP announcement targeting battleground states with her running mate by her side. It will be an ambitious tour with Republican VP nominee J.D. Vance holding his own rallies in those same states. In Washington, Tracy Wilkins, NBC News.